Great. Um, so the third part of our, our event today is focused on voting in 2020. And it's meant to put things in context. Uh, also, in the context of DA, uh, but we'd like to hear from some of our caucuses during this time. Uh, so, within the structure of Democrats Broad, as Ken mentioned, we have uh, seven different caucuses. Black, women's, Hispanic, progressive, veterans and military families, LGBTQ, and youth. And all of these caucuses work uh, to address a specific policy area. So, for example, if you are very passionate about uh, voting rights, there's tons of stuff for you to do in the youth caucus, tons of stuff to do in the black caucus, basically in every caucus when it comes to voting <laughs> rights. But um, if there's a certain policy area that you would be interested in, that's kind of a channel to get involved with Democrats abroad. So putting this again in, in the overall picture of voting in 2020, we wanted to hear from some of our caucuses. And I've asked uh, places where we, from leaders, caucuses where we do have leaders, to say a few stories about what this election means to them from that perspective. So this is designed as you know, an exercise for us to really relate to each other, not just as, for those of you who were at the Women's Caucus event last night, not just as a single identifying factor, not just as a woman, not just as an African American, not just as a gay man, but really to have us connect and hear from different stories uh, from our fellow Americans and Democrats abroad. So, let's see who's up alphabetically. Black Caucus from Angela Falls. Do you get to the video work? We, we have the uh, Global Black Caucus Poet Laureate based on Hamburg, uh, Elaine, and she has put together a poem, but I'm not sure it sent me an email. All right. <laughs> year I had an idea that we have to do more than just give people the facts about the situation that we're in and that we have to touch something else inside their brains their hearts something not just facts because if facts were gonna make it everything okay everything would be fine we wouldn't be sitting here we'd just be all out shopping or something I would be out shopping. I don't know what you guys would be doing. Um, so I decided to go on a search as the, for the Global Black Caucus to have a poet laureate. Um, we had a lot of people enter, surprisingly, throughout Democrats Abroad from China, Belgium, Germany, Thailand, and um, Greece also. So I picked I, we went through a whole process, the steering committee, and we found like the, the three best people, and then we interviewed them. But they were all marvelous. They were all super talented poets and artists, so I didn't know what to do, because I didn't want to get rid of any of them. So we created the Poet Laureate Circle where we have three poets that are in different parts of the world and they're going to be taking um, a two-month term until the till actually the inauguration to give us poems on a regular base, basis. So Elaine is, the, is one from Germany and um, this is a really good poem. It's called Time and Time Again. So here we go. Time and time again. There shall be times for kneeling down, letting down, and sitting down. There have been times when we fought back, got knocked back, and got back up. It's times like these when we remember times like those. It's time like these when we need to throw out whoever and lift each other up, whatever. 
It's time like these for standing up, showing up, and not giving up. It's time like these when we want to be remembered for acting like those who did in times like these. So get up and go out and vote. <laughs> I know, it's gotten me a little emotional too. That's all three of them, their poems are so awesome and yeah, I just couldn't I couldn't let them go because we need their voices. Um, I guess at this point I'm supposed to tell you why I'm voting or why it's important to me to vote. Um, just as an aside, everyone can join the Global Black Caucus. It does, you don't have to be black. It's just a name. We're fighting racism and we're fighting for, um, yeah, undifferentiated equality for everyone. Not just black people, but for everyone. Um, the reason that it's important for me to vote is because a lot of people have died to bring me to where I am now. I'm sorry. You know, my ancestors, some of them were slaves. Some of my ancestors came with the, the Chinese and were working on the railroads, and they were mostly slaves, I mean, kind of slavey. Some of my ancestors were Native Americans, and they were killed. Um, yeah, so this is my country. The United States is where I was born. It's where my roots are. It's where my family is. And I don't want it to be unsafe for people like me. And...